Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're talking about the retail disaster that is taking place across this country and why some of the biggest retailers in America are going to be closing their doors right now and throughout this year. And there's a whole list of them, folks. So you need to really be prepared. Now, what does this mean for you and me? This means in a time when everything costs so much money, if there are certain items that you maybe need to look at getting, you may be in luck if you have one of these stores in your area because they're going to be running deep discounts and trying to get rid of all these products and everything else so they don't have to move them from one place to another unless you're Sears. You are trying to make sure that you know, you're getting something really good at a really reasonable price in the times we live in with this high inflation, uh, recession that we're going through, and with the lack of how far your money is going, and maybe to help take a little bit of the pain off your pocketbook while you're doing all this. Let's see what stores are going to be closing. Now, I do have a list of stores that have closed. I have a list of stores that had filed bankruptcy before the end of 2022. So here we go, folks. First off, Macy's is closing a whole ton of stores across the country. Uh, they have been in financial disarray for quite a while. All since uh, A lot of these stores were all really affected by Charlie Victor 19. Um, it pretty much put a nail in the coffin for a lot of them because they just never did recoup. Bid Bath & Beyond is closing 150 stores this year across the country. They do do a lot of online shipping. We're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. Sears is closing all of its stores that are left. The once great and mighty retail giant Sears is no longer. The rest of the 150 stores will be closed this year across this country. It's a sad day. Joanne Fabrics is also closing several stores throughout the country. Banana Republic is also closing hundreds of stores. Nordstrom is closing hundreds of stores also. Marshalls and Big Lots are also closing about 350 stores apiece throughout the country. William and Sonoma are also closing 25% of their stores that they have left. And by the end of 2026, they are going to downsize and close another 150 stores across the country. CVS is closing over 300 stores this year. This is part of their whole re-strategy. They've been closing 300 stores per year for the last two years. I think they have this year and one more to go. Of course, you all know, you know, there's CVSs on every street corner. Rite Aid is going out. Uh, they are closing another 145 stores this year. They have announced uh, they don't have a lot left. Once they used to be a huge giant like Walgreens and CVS and Rite Aid, and Rite Aid just didn't keep up with CVS and Walgreens so they got kind of left behind and this is what happens you end up basically going bankrupt and closing all your stores Best Buy is closing another 60 stores this year in selective areas throughout the country oh and the world's largest retailer yes that would be Walmart folks they're closing stores this year also that's right, I said Walmart is closing stores this year also. But this isn't based off of profit. This is based on theft. Now, we don't know what stores are going to be closing. They haven't made those announcements yet. They're waiting for the final figures from this past year to see how much of their shrinkage, which is $3 billion a year that walks out the front door, well, they're going to be closing stores soon so we'll have to wait and see where those are all going to come into play now 
Here is a list of the companies that filed for bankruptcy just before the end of 2022. Um, and it's not a very long list. It's a few stores here. Olympic Sports filed for bankruptcy. Future Retail, Revlon, Misguided, and Christopher and Banks filed for bankruptcy. Now, whether they're all going to go out, I don't know. Um, they have just filed for bankruptcy by the end of December, so we'll have to wait and see. So what does all these store closures really mean? All right, Maybe a lot of these stores are seeing the writing on the wall, and here it is. There's going to be a lot of people and a lot of stores that are no longer going to be a brick and mortar store. It's going to be empty. So it's going to be a ghost land. You're going to order everything online and it's going to be delivered right to your house. These stores still may exist, but what's going to take place is they're not going to have the overhead of all these different uh, retail sites. You don't have to maintain them. You don't have to power them. You don't have to put people in there. All you need is a warehouse, like Amazon. You just need a warehouse, and this way here you can box up your products, and you can send them right to your customers. And you can use, there's quite a few different ways that you can ship all that kind of stuff. You know, you have UPS, you have FedEx, you have the post office. You know, I mean, you can ship those however you want, which way ever is cheapest. And the company still can survive. A lot of the companies, when the whole boom started with the, you know, quote, online ordering, they didn't jump on the bandwagon soon enough and got left in the dust and now they're gone. The companies that jumped on the bandwagon are still around. So I think you're going to see a lot of companies turning to the online ordering. But until then, a lot of these companies are going to be running a lot of great deals. So you all need to be paying attention if one of these stores is closing in your area so that you can maximize whatever it is you may need. If you need school clothes, if you need whatever you need, just always remember, see if you can't find something that is, you know, that you could put into your little stockpile of preparedness for a power outage, a severe storm, whatever it may be. Just something. Because if you get it on a really good deal, heck, why not? Buy it. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Today we have been talking about the biggest retailers in America, they're closing down their stores as we speak. So until next time, folks, I will catch all of you on the flip side.